What's going on guys, Matt over here with Lethal Garage and today is a car update. In this car update, I'm uploading the morning of CamaroCon, but this we are two days out. This is It is Wednesday right now and I am doing something crazy. Now I've talked to you guys about potentially doing different power adder, doing just different stuff to the vehicle and today I'm gonna to talk you through exactly what I've decided to do and the grand reveal will take place at CamaroCon and this video will also go live at CamaroCon. Now the one thing this video is not gonna include is dyno numbers. So if you are tuning in for this video to see what the final power results are, you are unfortunately gonna to have to wait for the next video uh, just because I'm not gonna have time to edit and pull this all together before Camaragon, so apologies to you guys. But let's walk through the new updates and changes happening to the car, and uh, yeah, let's do it. So, first and foremost, I have my Pro Chargers on the floor. What the heck, Lethal, why is your Pro Charger on the floor? I am taking the Pro Charger off. We have ran into quite a few issues, not with the actual Pro Charger itself, but more with the heat. The heat that the Pro Charger is generating it's just getting really high after a couple drag runs. Now, there are options that we can do to cool things down, such as air to water and stuff like that. But after doing my research, trying to cool this unit off and even not even talking about getting into more power, so I'd still have to upgrade to a D1 or an F1A or something like that unit, the cost for the cooling and the cost for the new unit was going to be astronomically expensive. Now, that's going down the road of adding more power. Now, in this instance, my car was making 747 rear wheel horsepower, cammed, supercharged, tuned with E85 and auxiliary fuel system. Basically, just an upgraded fuel system with L24 stuff. That's a pretty respectable number in most cases. Some people will still say that's not enough, and uh, I agreed with those people, so I wanted to go uh, more, a lot more. Now, how did I do that, and what am I doing? Now, as you guys could see right here, this is a brand new Whipple Supercharger 2.9 liter. It's a monster. It is a twin screw setup, sits right up top of the, the motor. Got a box full of parts. This bad boy is literally getting installed. We It's Wednesday night right now. It's like five something. This is going in, all of this is going in, and it is gonna be up and running. And not only that, we have a few other supporting modifications, and sorry, gimbal's going crazy. A few other supporting modifications, such as fuel injector connections, injectors. We have a Nick Williams 103 millimeter throttle body going in, and on top of that, there's a new lingo filter high side pump. Unfortunately, it's not the pump that I wanted, um, but I do have the car ripped down for the most part. I've already pulled off the supercharger. I've already pulled off the intake manifold. There's a few other things still left to do i'm just waiting for some tools to be able to do them because unfortunately my tool arsenal doesn't have everything um, but with that we have to get a base tune on the car so the new injectors don't uh, wash the pistons because that would be terrible and you do never restart your car or turn it on with new injectors unless you have a base tune to support it trailer your car don't ruin your motor but yes new power big fat whipple 2.9 liter monster mo or superchargers going on as you can see it's going to be white and uh, i hope to give you some more sneak peeks because we're going to install this and show you exactly what i'm doing to the car and how it looks and that way also the people coming to camaro con who will be there when this video goes live they're going to see it live at the show so let's get on into this and check it out New fuel injectors are installed along with the new fuel pump. It's kind of a, I don't know, it's not the easiest install. If you're not a mechanic, I recommend go to someone professional to do this. Don't do it on your own. Uh, but fuel pump on the back side, fuel rails with the injectors on. She's all set up, ready to go. We're going to button it up. Now it's really heading over to Cunningham Motorsports, getting her on and seeing what kind of power the whole package is going to deliver. So, yeah. What a night, guys. <laughs> Sorry, it was nothing but frustration and pain. Uh, I didn't record anything during this evening, but we did get everything set up. Uh, it's it's ready for the supercharger for the most part. The only problem is, is the kit didn't come with the LT4 map sensor, and the map sensor sits on the back side, so it doesn't make sense to sit the supercharger in place. Now what we did do... As you can see, the car's put back together is because we have all the plumbing and everything in place. All the wiring's done, all the plumbing's done. Uh, she's basically ready to go. All we have to do is get the right map sensor and move this to there. So you have to pull the lid to get the bolts to go into the cylinder heads, but outside of that, it's pretty cut and dry. So 
So I will record the final bits of the install uh, tomorrow. Um, we have a TV spot we got invited to on Fox. Uh, I think it's uh, Throttle Thursdays. Uh, we're going to be a part of plugging CamaroCon. Um, but after that, we're going to come back, hopefully get the map sensor and finish this bad boy up at lunchtime. Uh, that's the hope. That's the goal. We'll see what happens. Um, but outside of that, uh, we'll see. We'll, yeah, we'll see. I just fear that no one's going to have the map sensor and I'm going to cry and I don't even know. I don't even know. Rip it off a 2.0 turbo or a, a Z01 on a, <laughs> a dealer's lot. No, I'm kidding. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll be back with finishing this up. Okay guys, this has been a long time coming. It feels like it really hasn't been that long, but just all the hurdles we had to jump. Huge shout out to Cunningham Motorsports. Look, I had to bribe Ryan to get the bass tuned so we can actually drive it over the shop. She runs. She's alive. Yes, it's making a little noises. That's basically close tolerances. It's going to break in. We'll see how it sounds after a few dyno pulls. But uh, she works. And I do have to put out a lot of special shout outs. One to Fast Check Performance Ricardo over there. You are a man, myth, a legend. It's not Jason, it's you. Uh, also, Whipple, thank you so much for getting the parts and pieces uh, that we needed out to us as quick as you did. And uh, I'm missing so many other people. Fuel injector connection, thank you for getting the proper fuel injectors for the car. We'll see how those dial in on the dyno. And also, uh, LPE, thanks for getting the pump. I know it's not the pump I wanted, but you know, I'll wait. I'll have to get it next time or when they're available again. The Big Bore LPE pump, it's, it's an amazing pump. I need it. I only have the plus 10%, so we'll get that situated. But she's got a base tune on the car. She's ready to go. She's gonna be headed over to Cunningham Motorsports to get dialed in and tuned. And literally, uh, Camaro Con's tomorrow. I, I'm insane. Why do we do this? I, it's because it's awesome. So uh, there's there's a lot of, uh, we, don't, we won't know the true power that it's actually gonna make. There's a lot of thing. One, we have the wrong belt. Two, we have the wrong upper pulley. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's got race car life pulley on it. I think it's like a two point seven five or two point or how big is it two seven five, I think. yeah it's good two seven five on it right now we got to get the right belt so we can get the right pulley on the front again it is the full 10 rib system this is the whipple 2.9 liter monster um yeah now it's opened up the doors for lots of other cooling options we're going to go down that path lots of videos lots of discussions about it um i'm super excited one i'm excited to see what the numbers are once we get it all dialed in but the biggest thing right now is the car runs and that's all that really matters to me right this moment. So uh, there it is. Uh, if you guys aren't down at CamaroCon to see the car, I'm, there's gonna be a ton more videos obviously to come. Uh, obviously power numbers, all that stuff will be coming down the pipeline. Uh, hoping for obviously 800 plus horsepower to the wheels. We'll see where it lands or gets us and lands us. Um, yeah, that's all I got. So until next time guys, I'll see you on the road. We have a Nick Williams 103 millimeter throttle body in here. Whoa, what is happening? <laughs> and I totally just killed my gimbal.